classics say, within yang there is yin, within yin there is yang. And this can be thought of in a number of ways. In terms of Tai Chi, we think of yang being within yin, steel within cotton. In Xing Yi, for example, they may have the opposite, yin within the yang. Also, yang within yin and yin within yang have to do with attack being hidden in defense and defense being hidden in attack. Uh, so today we will use three examples. Uh, Yang John Hao single whip, the strike the tiger motion, and uh, transition into fishes in eight. So for example, with the single whip, in the John Hao form, the elbow here is an attack and is also a block. And hidden within that block is the strike. So this is coming across, diverting and or striking the opponent's weapon and attacking the face. Simultaneously blocking and striking, uh, it can also be thought of. Blocking and striking all in the same motion. Blocking and striking all in the same motion. Within yin, the block, there is yang, the attack. From there, you notice that I step in before his power could come out. And that way, I'm getting past the torpedo before it can get armed, and I have a free shot. The second example is to strike the tiger method, where we have a block and a strike in this manner. This is more like the Tai Chi symbol where the yin and yang exchange. And the Tai Chi itself is those points where they actually do change from yin to yang and yang to yin. So here we have yin. And within that yin is the wind up for the yang. So here also this is a yang movement because it could be striking down on them. And then following. And then the penetration punch. So if doing it as a person came in, one might step to the side and strike. Again, I will step in, I will yield, see, I actually have to get onto him, attach to him, go with him, and then I can come back. And this hand is a, from here, this hand actually a whip. transition with a little adaptation into fishes in eight. As opponents strike, come in this direction, I step out, block, hand off, trap, and then turning into the elbow strike. So this is your fishes in eight, becomes here. Stepping aside, handing off, and turning. Always a keep 
the hand open, not a fist, when you make the elbow. Otherwise, you make a fist, the power comes to the wrist. If you keep your hand open, the power stay in the elbow area. So forward position, stepping, handing off, controlling his punch, and striking at the back of the neck. Something like that. From this direction. Something like that. here once again is to intercept him before his power can come out. Okay, so we have in here a simple here. Often time in advanced self-defense you will be stepping forward but yielding at the same time. This is an important concept to remember. point, many points here, leading to pretty much lights out. Uh, obviously we cannot do these too fast. 